Hey film lovers, it's Dmitry and welcome to my So Expired channel. So today I decided to share with you with my recent purchase which is Yobo TBE uh, and this is basically not a processor, this is like a thermostat that just keeps your water and your chemicals uh, heating up while you're developing those nasty color processes and uh, it, uh, it comes with those four measurement cups uh, 250 milliliters each and uh, with like four sockets to keep four bottles inside the water bath and um, this is not the Jobo bottles this is uh, cheapest uh, photo impacts bottles I use and uh, even for E6 process I need only three of them because it's like first developer second developer and then bleach fix together but Imagine we had like bleach and fix separated, then uh, there will be a uh, four socket for the fourth bottle. But since I'm developing usually 120 uh, film, so I need 500 milliliters uh, of water, this is why I usually keep the fourth bottle just with water, like one liter of water, to do my interim washes because. Uh, it's not enough to have just one liter of water or I just open up the whole machine and just take water just from the bath itself it also does work pretty well for me and I actually compiled a little video how I do uh, color development with this type of machine and uh, actually there are quite some like different kinds of Yobo TBE and actually I, I believe this is Yobo because this is a German brand and uh, it it is it stands for Johannes Bockmüll so but anyways Jobo, Yobo, Hobo or whatever uh, it's I mean it's nothing different so as I said, uh, those machines, there there are a really a large variety of those machines on the market you can buy on eBay reasonably cheap. So I even uh, seen the very same machine but with like LED, uh, you know, type of uh, scale instead of just, you know, uh, a knob as I have here uh, in my machine. And what I really like about this machine that is really compact, it's just like this tiny box that um, has everything in it to get you covered. So as you can see here, it's just really nothing but the box. and. It's really compact, I keep all my chemicals right in the machine when I don't use them and uh, the great thing about that that is there is also a, a processing counterpart so I if I need ever if I ever need a, a, a rotary developer I can buy the pretty much the same size uh, machine with the with the rotor so I can just keep them separately they you know they consume less space and I can put one machine in like one on one shelf uh, and the CP on uh, another shelf whereas if I would buy uh, uh, Yobo CP3 that cost like 1200 euros um, which is a lot in my opinion and it's not only that problem it's also a huge machine and I don't have any space in my apartment to keep it whereas this machine cost me 63 euros shipping included and it works perfect perfectly so of course my uh, thermostat is a little bit off I'm not sure if that's my fault or the the machine's fault let's say so maybe uh, there is a certain level of water I should keep inside for this machine to work properly I don't know uh, that doesn't really bother me that much so I usually keep my external uh, thermometer uh, in the water to control the temperature and if I see that the temperature goes really like higher than 41 degree I just you know dial this knob a little bit and it's under control so that's not a big issue for me and those machines actually usually come with the small uh, thermometer so it's kind of 
tells you that you should not be relying solely on the on this knob that it works perfectly you should always keep an eye on the temperature of the water so let's talk about my opinion on that machine i really really like uh its size, I really like how it works, I really like that it kind of removes the hassle of keeping my eye constantly on the temperature and as I would do previously, uh, you know, switch on and off my boiler or just using the hard boiled water and if you like put a little bit too much then you have to put like a cold water to compensate that's really kind of messy and hustle and you don't want to do any cold developer uh, development like uh, like more often than once a month uh, using this uh, a technique but with this machine it's like it's no no hustle it's just a little bit of time like like you know sitting there uh, agitating a rod inside the tank and like switching chemicals whatsoever so but the biggest hassle is temperature control so this machine removes it completely uh, is it worth it to buy a CPE in my opinion well if you're a really impatient person and you develop I don't know five rolls of film every day then maybe it kind of uh, you know, uh, it's worth buying and like uh, shelling off like 1200 euros at least for a machine. Um, I don't know, uh, if you have a photo lab in your area that develops film that usually costs around like 5 to 8 euros a roll, like you can just calculate how many rolls you have to develop in the machine to actually cover that price. And uh, as I said, it's just like... Uh, it's if you just really a professional doing like uh, color processes uh, like every day and or you just uh, really really uh, impatient person and uh, maybe if you don't have any lap in your area then it's maybe kind of worth the, uh, the business but uh, I really if you if you like me and if you develop like every now and then and every other week you develop like couple of rolls of uh, color process I really encourage you to go uh, to ebay and maybe look one of these and especially as i said if you ever need a, a really a color uh, rotary developer you can also buy a second piece uh, to like this machine and then you will be like covered uh, with this uh, you know situation as well so that's pretty much it uh, for today guys uh, thanks for watching and i see you next time